Hey guys, Carolyn here. Today I am filming a very long overdue organize my K-pop photo cards with me video. I have a long weekend this weekend because I requested off because I it's basically like my finals week I feel like because I have so much stuff going on but I also have been gone the past two weekends I was pet sitting two weekends ago and then last weekend I was at Super M in Atlanta um so essentially my life is kind of just chaos because everything like went down and then I was gone for two weekends and then basically my life is a disaster and I'm trying to get it back on track before I sit down to write a five pages of a 10 page paper that are due on Monday. Um, yes, this is not even everything I have. There are some albums that are either coming today or they are coming, um, they've already come, but I haven't uploaded unboxings of them. So I feel weird putting the photo cards away, but yeah, this is everything that I feel like I can put away. There were a couple of trades that I got in the past couple of days that I didn't actually film a video for. I just like, yeah, I am, it's, like quarter to 10 now and I should have some BHL stuff coming to my PO box at 10 30 but I probably won't pick it up for a little bit today so anyways I just wanted to film this because do you ever feel like when you have a lot of homework to do you can't do anything until you clean your room that's literally how I feel like I can't sit in this disaster of a room anymore so we're gonna try to make it a little better as you can see I have everything already organized into piles and we're just gonna go ahead and get started. I have all my binders here. So this is my Infinite Super Junior binder. I can't even remember what, like, what was in here the last time I filmed this. I don't even remember what my last photo card video contained, to be honest. I've seen so many people upload photo card videos during the time that I really should have uploaded a photo card video, but this binder, She's real thick, man, and I'm very concerned. Are my alts really gonna need three separate binders? Like, are we kidding? For this binder, I just have a couple of cards. Um, no, I don't actually, I have a lot of cards. In October, feels like about eight years ago, my, both my alts, Monster X and Super Junior made comebacks. Again, feels like forever ago, but I haven't put anything away from that yet. I started um doing this for Dongye, putting the blue sleeves behind them, but those, Double sleeving makes your binders thicker, which makes sense. Because this binder is already so thick, I feel like I need to, like I stopped doing it, you can see. I need to buy another binder before I continue with this. But the fact that all three of my alts need a separate binder, like aren't, is that a joke? I feel like that can't be real. First card I have is Longe. As you can see, I've checked off all of them. I haven't gotten my other two time slip cards in the mail yet, but I did get this one. So I'm gonna put, this is gonna count as number one, even if it doesn't actually count as number one because selfie cards for Dongye, number one in my book. I listened to this album for the first time in a while the other day, um, and I still love it so much. I think time slip is such a good album, but yeah. Sad that this goes on to the next page. I have to buy the Japanese version still. I spent the money that I was gonna spend on the Japanese version from this past paycheck on the new Monster X Picnic DVD because it's OT7 and we had to support. But I did buy, um, I don't know if I'll make a sticky note in this, but I did end up buying the new holo card for time slip for Dongye. So I'm excited for that to come in the mail. These are my time slip cards. So I think these are all in age order current. Oh, I have one more Dongy card actually to put away. So let's do that. So this is his Pantone card, which is from um, the One More Time era, which means that it needs to go probably here. So we have to move things down a little bit, but let's leave him first. I'll sleep. Yeah, I don't know if I'm gonna get the other one because it's black and white and I don't know, but I am happy to have at least one of them because I think these cards are super cute. I need to stop buying old Dongye photo cards. I need to just like focus on the future. <laughs> but sometimes I see old Dongye cards and I'm like, oh, so cute. Oh, I do like these together though, so. Like I have a couple of older Wano things too we're gonna put away in a minute and I just like need to stop. Is this nice. Okay, moving on to actual like rest of Super Junior now. All of my other cards from the albums. Um if you haven't seen my unboxing, we'll go ahead and link it up above right now. But 
put the group card in the middle and then we'll just do age order because I'm just gonna take all these out because I know the age order. I set this binder up in a video called set up my binders for my ult comeback or something like that. So if you haven't seen that video, I can link that above if you're interested. I watched that video probably like a week ago, I wanna say. I just like went back and rewatched it because I was very sad and I wanted to not be sad. So I was watching the past me being super excited for both of these comebacks. And not that anything bad happened to Super Junior during their comeback, but um, there were other like awful things that happened during that time. But this was a very good comeback. I'm very excited for their repack. Bongi said they're working on a new album, which I assume is the repack for this album. So I think that might have photo cards because they didn't used to get photo cards for any repack, but that was everything before Devil and Magic versus everything after Devil and Magic are kind of different. So I feel like there probably will be cards for that, but I'm happy that I have the full set of cards here. I also have the time slip postcards um timeline rather postcards and i haven't uploaded that unboxing yet because i'm the worst youtuber on this platform i haven't decided if i want to put them in this binder or not yet mostly for space reasons but if i do end up getting another binder which for sj i probably i probably will have to um i'm gonna go ahead and complete my postcard set now for play which is exciting. Who had a sticky note on the back of them? I'm sorry, Shindong, you had a sticky note on the back of you. I'm so excited that I completed this set. Yeah, once I do that, I probably will put the postcards in there. I'm just worried about putting Infant in their own binder, mostly because I feel like that collection... Wait, let's, let's appreciate real quick that I did this. Wait, why do I have it like this? That's weird. Probably because I wanted... Bongi and Yuck and Shiwan on the same page? I don't, I don't know, that's weird. Do I need to see the signatures on the back? Oh well, we're already committed. And then there's three spots, like an extra spot there. No, what am I doing? Um, and then Enhe can be next to these. What? Why does Enhe not fit but Bongi fit? What is happening? Why does this fit but this doesn't? Oh, it's a misprint, that's right. Ionic one is a misprint. Ugh. Okay, well. Uh, why did I do this? I should try to find me a non misprint one. <laughs> I think I kind of like the misprint. Oh my gosh. This is ridiculous. I forgot about that. But, anyways, I guess we're going to put Shindong back here covering Etook's signature. Anyways, moving on. Um, I'm worried about having Infinite in their own binder just because I feel like that collection won't be expanding that much. I guess Sungyu's coming back in January and he will most definitely have an album next year. My other woolen groups in that binder, if I was that concerned about it. I still haven't put papers behind this, but I'll put the, um, the new one of those here when that comes in the mail. Well, it should be soon. All right, we gotta go to Lian. Second right. These are all second right, so it goes here. I haven't sleeved any win cards or any infinite cards at all. I'm so happy I have all five. This is so exciting. I completed the set. Oh, so second right starts here. They're so cute. And then I need two more cards from this and then two more of these cards. And then these things are so hard to find, but there are two more of these, but I'm not gonna worry too much about them. If I can get the photo cards at least and the frame cards, then I'll be okay. But yeah, that is everything I have for this binder, I'm pretty sure. Um, yeah, it's pretty easy. Oh my gosh. Ugh. I just, I just don't want to buy another binder. I just bought one. What do we want to do next? Let's do Monster X just because is the stack is ginormous and I need to do something with it, so... Okay, the next binder I'm gonna do is my girl groups binder, just because, yeah, there's not many things going in here. So I have mostly Eyes One stuff going in here. But I do have also a Bonnie photo card. Happy that I've almost completed this set. 
I got paid the other day, so maybe I will go buy her other pink memory white card if I can find it so that I can at least have this page done. It's definitely going to be one of my resolutions for this year, for 2020, is to finish my Balmy photo card collection because, yeah. Um, I'll probably try to expand her Japanese card collection a little bit too because A Pink haven't made a Japanese comeback in a long time and I know that she has more cards than this. These are just like the ones from her CD plate. So I have her last Violetta photo card here, which is super exciting that I completed this set. Very, very happy about it. I also really love this card. I think this is my favorite card of the four. I put it aside last time I filmed one of these because I wasn't ready to put it in my binder yet because the month hadn't ended yet. So yes, I have vampire photos. Super exciting that I have all of those. Oh, look how pretty that looks. That's exciting. So regardless of what happens to eyes one in the future, I have completed Envy's collection, which is very nice that I've done that. So yeah, I mean, I guess I could get her other two Kino cards, but I don't think I will, <sighs> at least not right now, because I don't really like the ones from um, Violetta very much. So that's it for my girl group spender. That is literally all I had for that today. Not very much. Let's move on to my other boy groups. This boy group spender definitely has more stuff to go in it. So how is this already so full? Oh my gosh. Ridiculous. Um, what do I have today with me? I have, okay, so kind of a lot because we have a lot of 17, but let's do my gin throw card first. So I have his other BTS world card which is exciting that I have both of them now. I'm super happy about that. I just have this empty page here, I guess just anticipating a comeback from BTS. And I think the next group after that I have is, oh, I have a Golcha card, but I think I do 17 first. Yes, okay, so 17, I honestly cannot tell you where I am with this collection. I'm not sure, I have not looked at this in a long time, so. Let's look at it together right now. The first thing I have is one of his Dawn photo cards. We're going to do these guys too before we get into other things. So this is his Dawn B, which means I just need Eternal Sunshine A. That is exciting that I have this. I guess I will talk about S Coops real quick. I wasn't going to talk about many like sad things in this video, but S Coops did recently... Um, go on hiatus for uh, mental health reasons, which I think is super great that he did that for himself and that Pledis let him do that. I'm very excited that Pledis acknowledged that there was an issue that needed to be addressed and that mental health was very important um, as much as physical health, which I think is great because I, I also think that a lot of K-pop companies um, don't really acknowledge that. I have his Japanese version of the um, bookmark. So I'm excited to have that. I just need Joshua's and then this entire page will be complete, which is something that's taken me a long time to do, but I'm super happy that it's almost done. And then I have um, in that set came this large postcard, which I think I'm just going to put in one of these guys back when my two pages start. Um, maybe after my two pages. So I'm very happy about that. Um, am I bummed that there's a chance he might not be at the US portion of the world tour? It, it, so much, I'm so bummed about that. I definitely think that he should take his time coming back. I'm not saying that if he doesn't come for the tour then I'm not going because that's not true at all. Um, I will still go. I will just be very sad that he's not there, but of course, mental health always comes first. I think that him taking a break throughout the rest of the crazy holidays schedules, I think that'll be good for him, but because the rest of the world tours in January, I don't know. I also don't know how he would feel not being there with the rest of the members during the rest of the tour. Like, it's one thing for end of the year shows, like, but for a world tour, I feel like, yeah. I don't know. I'm, I'm hopeful that he will be there because he took a break so with so much time between now and then. Um, and I 
I do think that his situation is a little different than Nina. I think every mental health situation is different and none should be treated the same um, because obviously no two people are exactly the same. But um, I do, I'm just going to put these in here first and then we'll do photo cards. I got the last two in Ode holdouts. So I have his hope one and his truth one. Oh, so pretty. But yeah, so I know a lot of people are comparing him to Nina twice and I, I mean, that's fine because there aren't too many mental health situations in K-pop that have been acknowledged that we can compare this to, but I also don't want to compare it to another person's mental health because also he was not exactly diagnosed with um, anxiety. He just has symptoms of anxiety is from what I've read. But anyways, moving on. So I think, I think I have the rest of the cards. I'm not really sure. Oh, I do have this card already. So I did end up getting another duplicate, which is very sad. What else do I even have here? So I have a begin card which I don't have here. So this isn't actually done yet. I have one more card I'm waiting on, I guess. I bought a begin card and was sent a duplicate of a different card instead. I'm gonna have to do some research into that. That would be a bummer. But I do have his close-up card. Put this in here, his truth white card. Oh, I don't have a white sleeve there. Mm -hmm. I have monster truck stuck in my head. I don't know why. <laughs> I have no idea why that song stuck in my head. And then his other purple truth card. All right, we don't have much time left before my memory runs out. I just tried to clear some, but I'm gonna have to go import some footage before I continue. So yes, his last real black card. Um, the last thing I got was I got one of the O2 cards that I said I really wanted to have as placeholders here. So this one will move eventually. I do have the other one coming. Um, so I'm super excited about that. So when that arrives, I'll move this card. But until then, um, this is the other one that I was super excited about, the World Tour card. I think there's Japanese cards now, but we're just going to pretend they don't exist. So that's it for 17. Um, the last thing I have in this binder, just kidding, I have a couple more things in this binder. Golden Child photo card somewhere. So I have a Sinian's, um Miracle photo card. And my Golden Child albums are actually coming in the mail today and I'm super excited about it because we'll have to set up for the next album. Something I didn't think I'd have to do for a while and I haven't had a chance to do it yet. I do still need his Wish Orange and his Goldenness Red. Um, I can't remember what the photo card situation looks like for this album. I think there might be two though per member and then there's like other larger things. But yeah, and I need Jung Jun's Wish Orange. So hopefully I can get those soon. And then for one pill, I don't have many things that are actually set up for this album. So I'm gonna reorganize these better later. I have not set up at all for this album. So I'm going to just sleeve a couple of the cards. Um, no, they really don't. So I'm just gonna do this that card this card card so part of me wants to just take the string off <laughs> that's so annoying all right i'll just like tuck it back here and we'll see how much it annoys me in the future i also have his other sunrise photo card so thank you so much again to the person who sent this to me i'm so excited to have that and then the absolute last thing in this binder is, is that the last group in this binder? I thought I had one more. Yep, I have ATs. So ATs, I have both of Hong Jun's cards from um, EP, the non-anniversary version. I don't have either of his cards for the anniversary version yet, so I need to get those. But I do have um, both his A and his Z version photo cards, which is exciting. As I've said before, I don't collect my music taste cards because, yeah. So, I think this is his A version. If they're not, I will switch them later. But, yeah. Hong Joon collection is coming along nicely. I also don't think I'll be buying their Japanese 
debut, but if I can find the photo card for pretty cheap, I may invest. But yes, I'm gonna pause this here, go clean out some storage, and we will be back to do my other binder. Okay, so it's actually been a couple of days and I wanted to real quick throw in a couple of other photo cards that just came in the mail. So these other um, time slip cards, maybe make sure this is actually in frame. Here's other time slip cards in the mail. I I think I'm gonna do this one as two. I don't know. It doesn't really matter which one is two and which one is three. So, and yeah, that is, that is everything in this binder for real now. So, yeah. So in this binder, we start off with NCT. So obviously starting off with Lucas, that is where most of my NCT progress has come from recently. Um, so I do have quite a few cards. First of all, I have his other photo card from the Korean release of Super M. And then I never did an unboxing of this because they're exactly the same, but I did pull one um, Lucas photo card from the Korean edition. So that is super exciting. So I'm really just missing one card. If you're curious, I pulled Mark in my other version, so if you would like to trade for Lucas's other Korean version photo card, do let me know. I would definitely be interested in trading. So we'll go ahead and put both of these in here. Oops, that's it later. Oh, we need another nine pocket page for Lucas. Crazy how this has become my biggest NCT collection. Um, so other Lucas things I have, I have his, one of his pop-up store cards. Actually, I need to put a placeholder for the other Korean card. It's not getting ahead of ourselves. Um, and then we have the pop-up store photo card. I don't plan on getting another pop-up store photo card because they are pretty expensive, but I did want at least one. And then I also have, because I went to their concert recently, I have all the numbers, but I of Super M, but I'm going to put Lucas and then I'm going to do the rest of these after my three um, NCT boys that I collect. I think I want his signature card to be first. So this is his A. So, and then I just need placeholders for future things. I have his, or I don't have any M pins, but this is a spot for um, Wavy's circle card and then Wavy's photo card. And then three empty slots for who knows what else is coming. I'm sure there's something coming. Go to after all of my NCT boys. And I'm going to put the rest of the Super M cards here. It seems like a weird place to put them because there are members from other groups besides just NCT here. But I don't feel like separating the rest of the set. These are not things that go there. Um, I don't feel like messing with that. So let me think here. So we have the group card and then 12 other cards. So we have 13 photo cards. I think I want to put the non-NCT boys together for sure. And then the NCT boys. Maybe I'll do that. I'm going to save myself some battery and sleeve these all off camera real quick and then I'll be right back. Okay. So I have them all sleeved, and I'm, you can't see any of them right now, but I'm going to do this card in the middle, I think. And I'm going to do them by, like, debut order, I guess. So Tannen, I mean, Kai and Baekhyun debuted at the same time, but, like, I guess we'll do age order for that. So then Baekhyun and Kai. I originally didn't plan on keeping the entire photo card set, um, but after I saw them in concert, I was like, I think I'm going to. So that is the non-NCT members, and then we'll do the same thing here. So we have it, Taeyong. Or we want to do eight. No, I'll do the same thing. Taeyong, Mark. Well, I guess they all kind of debuted at the same time, didn't they? Then I'm doing age order. So Mark goes down here. There was a second group card. SM couldn't do two group cards. You had two for everything else. Do you not think of us photo card collectors at all? Well, I mean, obviously you don't. 
Might make some cute fillers or something for this just so it looks less bare. But besides that, that is it for NCT. Now we have Stray Kids. So I have a couple of Stray Kids cards. I have not gotten this one in the mail yet. I'm pretty worried about it. And I have the IMU photo card. Still hasn't really hit me that Wujin's no longer in the group. I feel like it probably won't really hit me until their next comeback. Um, and then we have last two Yellowwood cards I needed. His indoor card. And because there's just one card left, one spot left, I'm trying to decide what I want to do. Maybe I'll try to get another unit card. I did accidentally trade for two of these. So I think I'm, I was going to put that in here, but I think I've decided that I'm just going to let that be maybe get another unit card since i only have one and then i'll just scoot everything over like that maybe maybe that's what i'll do or maybe he has some like other random photo card i can get and put there but yeah and then i don't know what to do about that there are these polaroid things that stray kids have but i don't think they'll fit in four pocket sleeves and i don't, I don't know all these empty spaces that will never be filled newest there uh, I don't have anything for 101 or Jaehwan. I do have S9. Let's do that. There's a group that makes me happy these days. <laughs> SF9. So I have his Mamma Mia ticket, which is nice. And, oh gosh, is this going to fit in here? Might have to do a different solution for that. And then I also have his um, Mamma Mia, like, big card, which I honestly might just put here for right now. And I kind of like the way that all looks together, the whole page spread. So, yeah, still have a lot of work to do on that. That's okay. Um, is there anything else in here? So I have um, one, I have his large card from their newest album, Dungeon. And then... That's it for right now. I don't have any of his small cards yet, so I'm not going to worry about that. I also have this Baekhyun card from his City Lights album that I'm just going to put with my Shimin collection because why not? Um, I totally skipped other groups. AB6? AB6. Okay. So I have one of from their newest album. Very not doing great on that album, so probably should start working on that, but I have one of his scratch cards. And then I need to find, aha, my X1 collection. So I do have Juno's bookmarks that somebody so graciously gifted me. So I'm gonna set them up the same way as this. Do I have his peace sign version or, his, okay. Just doing this off camera because it's, literally so hard to do it on camera i got it but now it's not straight okay there we go scoot over just a little please got one bookmark go in there and then the yeti song version and now we're really done with x1's first mini album every time i finish something in a collection i'm like what else could i add to this and i obviously already know what else i could add to this i could get the other two shokan cards I don't know. I might just wait and see about that. But yeah, so that's everything in this binder, I'm pretty sure. That is it for everything um, in all of my binders. Um, if you haven't seen my Monster X one, I'll go ahead and link it up above because it was too long and had to be its own video. But yes, thank you so much for watching this collect photo card collection video. Um, I'm going to start trying to film these more again. I know I took kind of a break from doing them, but yeah, thanks so much for watching and I'll see you guys very, very soon. Bye.